What's up, y'all? Listen, you enjoyed watching me use my vibrator so much in that last video. There were a ton of suggestions. I had mentioned that I always have used that corn cob media, I think because it came with it. And uh, one person who's a reloader had mentioned that walnut shells, a couple of people mentioned walnut shells, will take tarnish off because it's, I guess, coarser. And the corn cob media is really for polishing the keys. However, in those suggestions, what we talked about during Saturday Morning Live 39, was key shavings yes we have tons of key shavings if you look at these really close under high power or magnification you can see it has little curly q edges and i think and a few others had mentioned that we can take some keys and vibrate the keys with that so that is what we're going to do we're going to take a selection of nickel silver keys that are in kind of rough shape like these and some that have spotted stains on them from just being in cardboard boxes for so long. And also we're going to take some brass keys and we're going to mix them all together, vibrate them uh, most of the day. I'm not going to do it late into the day. It's about nine o'clock now. So I'm going to run it till about three o'clock because the lighting after three o'clock gets really bad up front. And I want to be able to see how they look now compared to after vibrating with this. Now, of course, this is not something that I would normally do if it works really well of course i mean that's an option because we have plenty of this uh, however yes i'm going to order some uh, probably one day order some walnut media to see how it does as well so anyway let's get started with vibrating some uh, old tarnished and kind of rusty keys with brass shavings let's go Okay, the selection we have here is a few Baldwin keys of varying degrees of tarnish. Some Ford, old Ford keys here that have considerable tarnish. They apparently got wet, so we're going to see what it does to that. Usually there is no real recovery from this. It's pretty bad, but we're going to see what it does. And then some 27 Keyway Corbin Rust one. These get spotted just from sitting in a box in a kind of a huge, little bit more humid atmosphere. But you can see how it's spotted up pretty bad on the head. Makes them just ugly. So we're going to put all these in. This was the other Baldwin key. Basically, these are just kind of rusty. These are spotted, and then these are straight up tarnished on the head. Uh, and another thing that I have to do is I have to put them on key rings because what will happen is they'll sit on the bottom and they'll just vibrate like this. They'll never flip upside down. So by putting a key ring on them or two to a key ring like these bald ones are, it lets them kind of get flipped around a little bit more than just the key by itself. So let's keep on.
now we wait until about three o'clock. So we're gonna run it for about six hours. I'm actually not just waiting, I'm working, but we'll be back in about six hours. See what happens. Okay, y'all, it's four o'clock. Let's see how these things turned out. see how they turned out let's see how they did they actually got some of that off I'm I'm impressed <laughs> they did it did a lot better than I thought it would all right let's get them all out and see how let's see how they look Well, it didn't do that great of a job on the Corbin Russ one, which I didn't really expect it to. I think that's kind of permanent, permanently stained. They did get shinier though. We see, still see some spots right here. Uh, and pretty bad still on the head right there the bald ones actually this one turned out really shiny it got all the rust off That actually turned out way better than I thought it would. Let's see, this one's the, this one's the old logo. This actually, that actually turned out way better than I thought it would. So, interesting. Interesting. Uh, now, of course, the difference between this media and real media is it's sharper. <laughs> uh, and as I expected, those those stains, it did clear them up quite a bit. You can see, and that's pretty permanent. That's probably not going to go anywhere. But compared to how they did look, I mean, that is it's a super job just for six hours of uh, six or seven hours of vibrating. So that was pretty interesting. It definitely worked, per se. It, it worked, it, it did clean them, it made them shinier. I'm not sure if I would actually do it all the time because, again, even though my skin's tough enough to handle the dipping it into key shavings and stuff, it's just messy and it's probably not real good to do it. But I mean, it worked, right? It, it, got, them, it got them shinier than they were anyway. So now we know whether or not brass key shavings will take tarnish or brighten up at least some keys. It will, not really a preferred way to do it, but I have plenty of it, so it was worth trying. Those of you who have suggested it, thanks for the idea. Now we know. If you have any questions or comments, as always, post them in the comment section. Thanks for watching, y'all.